All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a revolution. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? Oh, boy. Okay, so I chose the other option first, so I'm going to know a little bit what's coming up, but I won't be spoiling anything. At least trying not to. All right, what do we got here? Excuse me? Oh, there we go. Pay respects, confiding Carl. You guys saw that, yes, last episode. Jericho was tacked at the crossroads. Yes, let's turn this back on. There we go. Talk to all the people. Only 55% talk to Simon. What? Oh, that's because he was, he's dead in some timelines. Spare Connor, obviously. What? 26% did not, whatever. Violent attack, only 33%. What is, what are these other choices? Like, what is this? I wonder. 58% Marcus chose to protest for his people. And he chose to fight. 34%. Gotcha. All right. Oh, E. Connor, Knight of the Soul. Absolutely nothing. We didn't have that timeline. Okay. Yeah, Carl died and broken. Confiding Carl. Carl lived and broken. And all this happened and I missed out on it. That kind of sucks. That was a hefty choice, huh? Damn it. Okay, let's do this. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President. So before I, 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 I choose something Please. here, this, this ending is gonna be wildly different from the last one. I'm going to Please. make choices that are different because Please. the last one is, is uh, a, a demonstration here, of protest. Madam this President. I chose a revolution. Please. And I'm going to make choices that support Madam that. President. So prepare for that. Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Madam President! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Madam President! Okay. Please? Please? What does Cyberlife have to Please? say about this? What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Madam President! Madam President, is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Thank you. That Remember what I all. said? 
about the National Guard earlier. Told you it was going to happen. There is, um, there's a Air National Guard base near Detroit. I think it's the biggest one in the country. It was the one they called Connor model 313 248 when 9 uh, 9 11 happened. Identification successful. Okay. Jets from uh, Go ahead. Selfridge were on their way to take down the plane, the one that crashed in Pennsylvania. It was in Pennsylvania, right? Um, they were going to take it down, but it, it crashed before they got there. But yeah, a uh, rather large Air National Guard. I've been to that base. They they do tours and stuff where, where you can see like um, all the jets and helicopters and things like that. And you, I got to sit in several of the jets. It was pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. But yeah, it's it's a stone's throw away. I'd say maybe a 45 minute drive. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. These are actual people. Not androids. Our friends are coming along too. Agent 23 identified. Connor Android identified. Agent 77 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. This is crazy. I like to work in there, right? Crazy. I would like to turn you people, but I can't, so the game will not let me. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. So according to this elevator, and, and this may not be the only elevator, and, and some and skyscrapers, it's pretty common to have elevators that only go partially the way up. Um let's do this. And this I'm saying this tower looks a lot a lot larger than 43 floors. Although it does say management. I don't know. It looked larger than 43. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, let's do it. Okay. This victory. He's a badass. What can he say? Use. There Please we go. indicate your identity and destination. I an agent, agent 54. 54. Level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. He's sneaky. Connor knows what's up. Hi, dogs. Detroit likes. It's not that they like their hot the dogs, they like their coney dogs. Twenty minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Twenty minutes. Gotcha. Hello. Are you alright? I'm, I'm really cold. 
I get a choice. I can turn off her cold sensors or whatever it is that, that that's causing this. Um, she's a real girl. Tough it out. You can't just turn your feelings off. Doesn't work that way. Boy. What? She's not going to react to them? That is so weird. In, in the other timeline, she reacted to them. I wonder what on earth would change about that. Ours now. Don't check if it's loaded or anything. Not that she would know. She probably wouldn't. Come on. Let's not stay here. Let's do this. Lucky don't be like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks to get in There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. In Detroit, when it comes to cold, get moving. it's not cold Hurry up. until the get snot in. in your nose freezes. I know, a little gross, but it's the truth. Where's my frames going? What's going on here? But yeah, you sniffle Look over there. from the cold and it'll freeze right in your nose. I know, weird. Us. Sorry. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave. They're going to kill him. Oh, obviously, we're going to save Luther. Buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Find a weapon such as this brick. Yeah, Luther. You shouldn't risk your life to save me. And whoever that other guy is, was it? Car, you saved us. Is it Jimmy? We don't know how to thank you. I don't Go remember his name. See you. We just had us shoo him off. I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, we gotta sneak again. These numb skulls. There's nobody in the snow right there, guy. There's no one. You don't even need the flashlight to see that. Also, these dudes are blind.
See, they keep searching the snow right in front of them. It's ridiculous. A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. All right. So, here's the problem. Last bus departs in 10. Detour is 11 minutes. That's... I'm guessing what that is telling me is if I did not take the time to save Luther, the detour would have been an option. Um, but I took the time to save Luther because I'm not a monster like some of the other people who chose not to save Luther. Um, so we're, I think, forced to go into the risky checkpoint. I think I am a little curious if there is a way to speed up that 11 minutes, but I don't think I want to take the risk. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm. All right, Luther. Chill, Luther. We Don't got this. Until I say so. We got this. ID, please. You don't need to see my identification. We're not the droids you're looking for. That joke's never going to get old. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. I don't know what you're talking about. Where are you going? I'm going to your mom's house. My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. No, stay calm. Stay calm. Everything is fine. Chill, Luther. You're all right, little girl. She's trembling. Something wrong? She has a cold. She, or is cold? She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. So if I turned her off? Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. She there would not be trembling. Around and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Actions have consequences. Hey, wait a minute. He knows nope. Kara. No, he doesn't. They're gonna kill us. No, he doesn't. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Why he gotta be so dramatic about it? Thank you. Jeez. You're welcome. Luther needs to settle down a little bit. He's a little jumpy. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. I don't know how public opinion... How did the public find out about that? Woodward! Again, Woodward is the, is one of the main streets that comes out of Detroit. I think it was the first. The first main street. It's one of the oldest streets. Oh, gosh. I love... I love snowy nights like this, where you have, it looks almost like a fog in the street lights like this. The snow's so thick. I love that. I love it. Holy shit. I was not expecting this. Oh god, what's it? I missed. I missed! And got hit! Son of a bitch!
boy. Stay sharp. They know I'm here. Shit. See, I, I notice how I looked for the camera earlier. I didn't have the option for that. But watch this. <laughs> It doesn't matter, he's Neo anyways. It's such an awesome shot. Yeah, I, I looked at the camera, I saw no option to disable it. And I, th I think that that indicates that there, there was an option, but it doesn't matter. We got a cool scene out of it anyway. Gentlemen, you're coming with me. We're doing this. We're doing this. Easy, piece of shit. Step back, Connor. Boy. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. <laughs> I love Hank. <sighs> okay. What do we got going on the here? Best terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have no tickets. They won't let tickets. us once. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Find a way to leave. I need tickets. What's this? Oh. Civil War in Detroit violent clashes between soldiers and deviants. Oh no. Androids have taken the streets of Detroit in apocalyptic scenes. Detroit is already in the grip of a national product recall. God. With total disregard for civilian life, and androids have uh, armed themselves and opened fire in the middle of the crowded streets. The authorities have been forced to respond. All our stories getting around. Public opinion is lost. They're not happy with us. Uh, hello? Hi. Anybody got any tickets? No one's selling tickets, eh? Hello? Nobody? I gotta be sure to avoid those, those people. Security check. Please don't move. Marcus, indeed. This poor dude just sitting here all by himself, fidgeting. I think Oliver likes you. Oliver's a baby. He can't talk. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Thank you for telling me exactly where they're at. <gasps> what an unlucky couple. Um, but we're not monsters. I'm staying true to this character. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. I don't know about you guys. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. But when I have tickets for something, I keep them near and dear in a I pocket floor. Oh, not you, in a bag you. thank you 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 saved our lives staying true I'm to the sorry, character Alice. it's okay she totally would have given him back we'll find yep. another way 
Um, not to say that it was unrealistic. I've I've Wait, been to airports move. and whatnot and seen people pull uh, like their boarding pass out of their bag, and I'm like, I'm like, yo, that's that's crazy. I can't believe people do that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid. What's over here? Adam, Kara, quick, follow me. Adam turned out to be a bro. He didn't turn us in, and now he's here to help. Oh, thank God you're alive. Oh, oh my God. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? So there are a couple ways across? Yes. We're coming. Okay, climb in. Of course, there's the bridge. There's also a tunnel. I don't remember if I've already said this, by the way. I may have said it in the other timeline, or I may have said it earlier in the series. There is a tunnel that goes across. And of course, you can go over by boat. Um, the river doesn't, it's not completely frozen over. It'll freeze along the edges though. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Oh, they got guns. Is everybody armed or is it just the front four? Oh God, it's just the front four. Freedom or death. Freedom or death. Oh my God, attack. Attack! Oh my God, they got bombs? Oh my God. They regrouped. They outnumber us and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're going to do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No problem. Wait, what are you guys just running in there for? Shit. Order your troops. Move. Fire. Shit. Not Josh. He didn't want this. This time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. Yeah, is that wrong? This is this is a dark timeline. All right, it's cost us Josh so far. Okay. 
Oh my god. This just seems like a very uncoordinated attack. I took a high risk. I wanted to see what would happen. Oh. Take cover, guys. Don't just stand in the open. Oh, Simon's with me. We lost a lot of our people. That we did. We gotta move faster or we'll never reach the camp. Oh, no. Not... Simon is a high risk. Uh, what are my other options? I literally have none. Oh shit, that's not a mod. That's not a mod either. I don't know if I have a choice here. What am I supposed to do? Fire! Okay, 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 okay. WWW. Oh, it's still high risk. <sighs> I was given a whole lot of options that were great. And I think that's that's kind of the point. Okay. I wonder why those I wonder why those things were locked off. Our cause. That's all that matters. No. No, we can't win without you. What are you doing? Our hearts are compatible. No. You have to take my... I can't let you do that. You're the only one who can lead us, Marcus. It's the only way. I'm a loser. If you die, our cause dies with you. If you love me, take my heart. Oh, no. Oh, God. I don't think he would have done this. I think I chose the wrong option. Kiss animation, but whatever. I'm guessing I made some poor choices on the way in here. I think it's a little awkward when some of the choices are like when, when the field of view that we have is very narrow and you have to turn like all the way to your left and the game like i said it makes it so weird because of the field of view and you have to move the mouse an awful lot and i think maybe i just didn't turn enough to the sides to maybe see other options i don't know why those were closed off to me it's weird But I think it contributed to my poor choices. All right, all right, let's do this. For North. We can't move forward. That machine gun is taking down everything that moves. All right, charge, cover fire. Stand by. Group of cover. Stand by. 
Okay. Um. In position. For Jericho. Oh, that was brilliant. That was the right move. That's the right move. Oh, fuck me. The freedom! They have tanks? Honestly, that was an awful shot by the tank. Come on. Well, that- Your friend's that... life is in your hands. It's all crumbling. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Uh. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. my boy i'm sorry hank you shouldn't have got mixed up in all this forget about me do what you have to do enough talk it's time to decide who you really are are you going to save your partner's life or are you going to sacrifice him i want to save him what are you talking about all right all right you win oh jeez. Thanks, don't you? I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of it. move! Oh, he's gonna figure Why it out. Why do you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. But he has your memories. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? I know that one. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. son what's his name now obviously i unlocked cole but i have no memory of that cole his name was cole i have no he memory of unlocking six at the time of the accident it wasn't your fault lieutenant a truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over cole needed emergency surgery but no human was available to do it so an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. So I, I don't... Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Connor's right. They both would have known that. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. 
So I feel like Hank just kind of made a willy nilly decision there. I don't know. Unless I'm missing something. And again, I don't remember actually hearing about the name Cole. I may have. It's just been, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys remember. And I don't. We got ourselves an army. Wake Spread up. the word. Spread the word. Wake up, wake up. 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 Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. There's a lot there's a lot of people. Let's go, girl. It's about time. I'm sorry we got held up. Did anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. But now, I can see over there. she was right. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your I don't agree with what far. Marcus is doing. Okay? And watch the current. But you're alive. Good luck. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. He turned out to be a bro. not even a half a mile to the other side okay so it shouldn't take that long be careful there's border patrol on the river thank you so much rose i only wish i could take you myself i don't like leaving you out here goodbye atlas you take good care of yourselves okay i'll see you on the other side So, Border Patrol happens within 100 miles of the border all along the United States, north, south, east, and west. Um, Michigan, because the lakes themselves are considered borders, the entirety of Michigan falls within the quote-unquote border. So, Border Patrol has free reign basically throughout all of Michigan. It's Windsor. Freedom is just across the river. Why did the, I, I feel like the buildings looked larger earlier than they do now. Thirty degrees. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze. It is pretty cold. All right, let's do this. You two, you ready? Let me help you. Freedom is just across the river. to make some good choices oh my god all right fuck 
Far enough out. Let's Wait, get that there... engine going. Are there two or three I'll boats? I'll get it. I remember seeing three, but I only saw two push off. Maybe I'm blind. Oh. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world and play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What would Kara what do? What will I do? She... I'll learn to live. To love. Find out who I really am. Decision time, I got 30 seconds. I can accelerate, I can surrender, I could use Luther, protect Alice, or plunge. <sighs> I'm not gonna tell you what I did in the other playthrough, all other than I'm gonna try something different. Jump quick! Luther, come with us! Luther! Oh. I know it's cold, but you can, you can, you can be in that cold of water for a short period of time. Oh my God. I know it's cold. We gotta hurry. We have to go find warmth. Go, 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 go. Don't, don't sit around willy nilly. They've gone. Are you all right? Luther's hit. Luther! Luther. Where'd it get hit? They don't want you to die. Journey without me. The most extraordinary person I ever met, Alice. I was a machine. Maybe part of a family. Hmm. Take good care of Carol. You promise? Not Luther. The boat is leaking. Oh God. Oh God. Uh, so heavy. We're going down. Okay, 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 okay. We have to get to the other side before we sink. No. Um. D. D. Come on. No, no, no. All right, you guys are gonna have to forgive me. You're gonna have to forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's awful. I'm sorry, Luther. Oh, you guys are dirty. Making me do this. He's a big dude. He's dead. He no longer needs the body. Um, remove, reassure. Laura, I'm falling asleep. No, Alice, don't, it's the cold. It's making you sleepy. Stay with me, Alice. You've got to stay awake, you hear me? All right, I, I, I'm guessing I can't use this anymore, so let's dump this. We got paddles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Push? No. Where's where's the paddle? Dump supply? Yeah, use paddle. We can't die here. Not like this. Go, 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 go! That's so many S's! Not when we're so close. So many S's! Are you serious right now? Reduce the boat's weight? I don't know what else I can do. It says reduce reduce the boat's weight, and I've I've got I can't throw the girl overboard. All right. We're not gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. God. I don't know why she got rid of the pedal. That was ridiculous. Kara. Kara, no. Don't do that. I'm sorry if this is loud. I'm sorry if this is loud. I'm sorry if it's loud. She's got damaged components, but she's gonna be okay, right? Son of a bitch. The thing that was laying around. I don't know why it was there. Oh wow, did I just blow up two tanks with it? The humans are abandoning the camp. Goddamn straight. We did it, Marcus. We've won. Oh. This is not a victory. Are we going to get inside the camp and they're so all going to be dead? And we are receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're online. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. What we can gather, these androids are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, Several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United this music, States This music, though. America. It's so dramatic. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, they're not all dead. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. He just Humans said... Humans will have no choice now. 
He just said this wasn't a victory. To to us. I don't. I feel like this. This ending wasn't fleshed out enough. It's obviously not they the quote unquote to. intended ending. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda? What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. There's always a way. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit. He always leaves an emergency exit. Remember the thing that I I used many, many times and I don't know what it is? Let's check that out. And now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. Put your hand over it, Connor! Put your hand over it! Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive. And now, we are free. There's a, a circle in the back, not not the big one, the, the fountain thing, but there's like a thin circle. You can kind of see it. It is um, it's a monument to labor, the workforce. Connor didn't assassinate him. It's crazy that there's an option to to assassinate him at the end. But yeah, I mean it's. A monument to the labor, to the workforce. Um, Detroit's about as blue collar as you can get. We're free, Alice. We're free. Alice? Wake up. Wake up. Are we there? 
She's yes. awake. We made it. I love you, Carl. I love you too. I love you too. They need to get into some warmth because that is going to be cold. Oh my god. Is that the end? That's the end. And they lived happy, happily ever after. Oh my god. Now, there is a scene at the end of the credits, and we're going to hop straight to that right now. We get some Hank closure. We needed some Hank closure. I'm glad they, I'm glad they added a scene for him instead of him, his last scene being in the middle of that army and kind of feeling a little out of place. There is though that Connor hasn't removed his LED. So with that said, although I do like that Hank got a little closure there, I I feel like um I wanted better closure than that. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip through the rest of the credits and go right to the flow charts. Now beware, there's going to be spoilers in here from my la my other playthrough, I think. Yep, there's definitely spoilers in here from the other playthrough because the other one I did first. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Battle for Detroit, Marcus's Revolution. Cross over, let's turn on these stats here. Simon shot 19%. Oh, okay, well, I, I fucked that up. Inspire Frightened Android, Josh leaves color, rescue Josh, Josh dies in Marcus's arms. Try to save Simon, 9%. I am awful, approaching recall center. Marcus is badly wounded, oh my God. I'm in the 1% who failed that check. North offers her heart, accept it. <gasps> like absolutely no one chose that route. Like no one chose it except me, oh my God. I mean, there, there may have been a few, I'm sure it rounds, it rounds. So I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I'm one of the very few, that's for sure. Reach machine gun, attack is successful. This is the end of Marcus's story right here. North offers her heart. He refuses and dies. But I'm a selfish bastard. I, I really, I, I feel like I've made the wrong decision here. I don't think Marcus would have done that. I don't think he would have. So I don't really like my choice there. Approach and recall center number five. That's the camp. Oh my God, look at all that stuff. Soldiers approach Marcus 21%, neutralized 21%. I shot the tanks. The assault was successful 26%. Wow. Most people failed the assault. That's nuts. Okay. Marcus's demonstration. Oh, this is um This is this is the next one. Sorry. Connor's last mission. This one's probably going to have spoilers too. Oh no, this is in case you decide to turn as Connor, become a double agent. All right, Connor at the cyber life. I didn't make any different decisions here because I wanted to keep the, I wanted to keep Hank and Connor alive. I'm sure there are many branches where one or both of them die or something. I don't know. I just, I really liked the outcome the last time so i replicated it so that's that all right again this is going to have spoilers 
Now, remember in the beginning I said, see the hanged android? I got a cutscene on the demonstration branch, but not on the revolution branch. I don't know why that is, but apparently only 10% of people got it. I don't know. All right, most of this was the same. All right, and we're going to get into heavy spoilers now. If you guys want to watch the other one, you should do it right now because I'm about to spoil what happened in the other one. Here we go. This was all the same, or it wasn't all the same. 2% protected Alice, 10% dive. I, I, I am shocked that I chose two of the... Did people surrender? So the reason why I didn't choose surrender is because I felt surrender was certain death, right? They're literally executing these androids like on the spot. Like some of them are being taken to camps, but many of them are being executed on site. So I thought surrender would be bad because what, what, it, it'd be an easy kill for them, right? We'd surrender. They shoot us and just toss us overboard and continue on with their day. I felt that was guaranteed death. The other one was protect Luther. Or no, use Luther. I think what that meant was to hide behind him. You know, he's a big dude. And he could have taken some bullets for us. I think that's what that would happen. Um, there was an option to accelerate on the boat. I don't think that would have done us any good whatsoever. You're not going to outrun bullets. TF2 Heavy knows what he's talking about. However... There is an additional option, a sixth option that I have no idea what it is. If I remember correctly, there was accelerate, protect Alice, dive, use Luther. And what else was there? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, car is injured 2%. Luther died. Yeah. You know. Cast Luther away. Reach Canada on boat. Reach Canada by swimming. I didn't reach Canada on boat. I pushed it. And I, and, and when we couldn't go any further, I got out. I don't know what the game's talking about there. Pure and Alice survived. What? So, what are the options here? So, my other playthrough, I got a 3% ending. This one's only 11%. What are the other options then? What are these two? I wonder if one of them dies. Maybe this is Kara lives, Alice dies, and vice versa. Oh my god. Battle for Detroit, Kara's captured. Oh, this is the surrender. I am not convinced we survived this, but look at how long that is. Oh my god. I almost, I almost want to play through that and see all the options. That lengthens the story. Look at that. Significantly. And Marcus's revolution. Okay. I've already looked through this one. All right. So um, this is not the end. Um, it's the end of the story, but I got one more episode coming out that's going to be going through like the some videos on it about the making of the game and stuff like that. And, of course, my final thoughts. So expect that video in another day or two. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.